the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was casting out a demon that was mute. When the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the people marveled. But some of them said, He casts out demons by Beelzebub, the prince of demons. While others, to test him, kept seeking from him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against himself is laid waste, and a divided household falls. And if Satan is also divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebul, and if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guard his own palace, his goods are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks him and overcomes him, he takes away his armour in which he trusted and divides his spoil. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, it passes through waterless places seeking rest, and finding none, it says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when it comes, it finds the house swept and put in order. Then it goes and brings seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. As he said these things, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you, and the breasts at which you were nursed. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. How do we know that Jesus is who he says he is? How do we know that he is the Son of God? We know it by his words and deeds, which testify to the truth and good news that he is both God and man, our creator and saviour, the Christ. Yet, not everyone knows or believes this. That people do not believe in Jesus is not new. For many in Jesus' own day did not believe in him. As we read in today's Gospel reading, many rejected him and called him evil. That is, despite knowing the promise of his coming, despite hearing his words, despite seeing from themselves his great compassion, love and mercy, and his divine power and authority, they not only rejected him, but they mocked and slandered him and called him evil. Jesus is rejected today just as he was in his own time and even before his time, before he was born. As long as the world has been polluted by sin, as long as man has been corrupted, we have doubted and rejected God's love and grace and in our foolishness considered a good Lord evil. Because we are sinners, we call good evil and evil good. By nature, we all do whatever seems right in our own eyes, acting as our own gods, ruling in accordance with our pride and selfishness. 
And we, in our time, instead of learning from history, are even worse. Paul writes, But understand this, that in the last days, there will come times of difficulty, for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to the parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness but denying its power. Avoid such people. I can't think of any words that better describe our generation than these. Lord, have mercy upon us. Yet, in the middle of today's Gospel reading, our Lord gives us a wonderful promise. He promises to deliver us from our slavery to sin and the devil and to set us free. He says, when a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace, his goods are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks him and overcomes him, he takes away his armour in which he trusted and divides his spoil. What is meant is this. The devil is like a strong man and no one is able to get his treasure except the one that is stronger than him, namely Jesus. That is, our Lord expresses that though we are in captivity, Jesus has defeated sin, death and the devil and claimed his spoils. And those treasures are us. You are precious in God's eyes. In Psalm 8 we read, when I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings, and crowned him with glory and honour. See how great God's love is for us. Not only did he create us and continue to sustain us, while we were enemies of God, we were reconciled to him by the death of his son, Jesus Christ. And now that we are reconciled, we will be saved by his life. Formerly, we were dead in sin, but as we trust in God and his good promise, we are forgiven set free and given life in him. Satan is overcome. He is bound up. Our sins are paid for in full. They were nailed to the cross. Therefore, with David, we can rightly proclaim, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my saviour. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. This is the gospel, that even though we're all guilty of terrible evil, God, in his great mercy, gave us Christ Jesus for the forgiveness of sins, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have life. The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving, even though we have rebelled against him. This good news of forgiveness of sins and life in Christ by his suffering, death and resurrection was a stumbling block for the religious leaders in Jesus' day and folly to every other nation. As Paul says, the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, 
but to us who are being saved it is the power of God our Lord came into the world that he created and the world rejected him and it continues to do so yet to all who receive him to all who believe in his name they are counted as righteous and have become children of God a holy people so when God looks at you he no longer sees your sins but Christ's righteousness which he has freely given to you in the words of our Lord blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it may the peace of God which surpasses all understanding guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus